All right, you guys, I need to oil my speedometer cable. So I'm gonna go and pull some screws out of here and see if uh, see if this panel comes out. And I just need that to come out enough to get the cable off and oiled. This has been um, what I'm driving since the cable's getting seized up. It's grabbing and making the needle bounce. But sometimes it gets really bad and it's nearly impossible to tell what speed I'm going because it's going up and down in between very rapidly. So, need to oil that cable and I'm going to install an outlet down here below that is a switched outlet. This one is constant and it's just a pain in the butt having to plug this in and out all the time with the with my dash cam. An easier job would just be making that switched but I like having that um, powered all the time. That's Handy for the power probe when I go around, go around probing things. Um, so I'm going to put a switched socket down below and just zip tie it up and out of the way. Then I can have this up and out of the way. Another option would also be to just take uh, take this apart and tap into the power input on this. But I don't really want to take this thing apart and keep it in one piece just in case I ever want to throw this in a truck or sell it. push down on to release it. Yeah, I think it is. I think you just push down and it should pull back. I need to try and get a better grip on it with these channel locks here. So break it loose. Oh yep, that's all I needed. Just a Channel like that. Sweet. <laughs> Wish I would have done this sooner. All right, I got some three in one oil here. Something that'll drain down the line, hopefully. Try to fill up this cup, and if it doesn't drain, I'm gonna have to unscrew the other side of this cable. But let's see. Fish drops in there and it has started to fill up a little bit. So I'll wait and see if that goes down. If not, I'll unscrew the other side. But I think that's We all went outside for like about 30 seconds before I decided against it. It's cold and nasty. And by the time I got back, I realized this oil is going down slowly. And perhaps some of my jiggling has helped. So I'll take go a little bit more, put it back together, and if that doesn't work, it's a pretty easy thing to take apart. It's just four screws. I snipped some uh, wire ties that were holding this back and gave it some more slack so it can come out easier. And if uh, it wasn't enough oil, just put a little more in. Pretty easy deal. 
So I think um all right, that oil has almost completely drained in there. There's just a little, little tiny puddle left. Sweet, that works. Works for me. Kind of tight thing here. Push that little lever thing in. On. Connections are still on. Just that one and this one. Easy peasy. I am uh, kind of kick kicking myself in the rear right now for not doing this sooner. There's just so many little things like this. So freaking many. But we're getting on top of it. Like fixing this thing. My battery disconnect, my house disconnect. And like 25 other things up here. Like the high. High doesn't work on my fan. I could go on all freaking day about what I gotta do in just one section of the RV. Good and snug. Lightly snug. I wouldn't say good and snug. Those are lightly snug. Lightly snugged. I don't want to strip, strip them. Alright, let's go below. Switched sores, I'm pretty sure. That's going into the fuse block. Um, automotive socket has a fuse too. secret location for my switch things like GPS or dash cams. So we can attach that to ground pretty easily find a spot there just put it right where that one is. Pretty good. Dude, there's another accessory. This is accessory. This is lamps. Uh, DC. So, like 
accessory. Okay, there's no power there. Let's turn this key on. And now we have power on accessory. This accessory prong. What about this one above it? Is that powered? Uh, yeah, looks like it is. Yep. Turn the key off. No longer powered. So let's use the one. Let's use the one up top there. So I gotta snip off this ring connector and put on a spade. Cheap crimps for now. I do have some nice heat shrink ones picked out. All right, there's a spade connector on there. I'm just gonna slip that in the connection. Up here. See what that has in there for fuse, if anything. Got a 15 amp in there. I'll just leave that in there for now. Probably only needs a 5 amp to run the things I'm going to be running on here, but you never know. I'll keep that like that. I'll zip tied up in here with the rest of the stuff. Put the panel back on. I have a switched outlet down here. All right, got that zipped up in there with the rest of the mess. Finally getting to use my new batch of colored zip ties. Fun. Now I'm gonna put a, a Y splitter. One for the uh, dash cam. And this USB thing will be handy for my phone when it's up here on the, on the uh, phone window mount. So I'll have a little USB for the phone to charge. One for the dash cam and one for extra. I'll just do the same thing, just gonna loop those up in there. There you go. My dish, dash cam. Awesome. There goes my dash cam. Cool. I'll zip tie up some more wire to make a big old mess. It's getting crazy down here. I'll call it good. I usually regret doing this because there's gonna be something like one wire I need to take out later on. And Ugh, but I don't really care too much. Need to just hang out up here for a while. In this bundle. This happy little bundle of wires. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. That one, I need to use some. I get in the habit of using Loctite up here. All right, you guys, switched outlets. That 
That is so nice. Now I can just have that plugged in and never worry about it. Something else I have been putting off way too long. It's nice and I have a little USB there for my phone. Alright you guys, thank you for watching. Just a little project, a couple projects there. I'll let you know in a vlog here next time we run into town pretty soon and uh I'll let you know how that speedometer that fixes that. Got a pretty good amount of oil to drip down that line, so I think we're good. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.